actually in that kind of year when I was having my conversion, I went to a mass and I heard a priest say, and I don't know if this is a good point, but the priest said, if you've never prayed to Jesus, then you've never truly prayed, which hit me like a dagger to the heart. So I was like, I'm, you know, 22, whatever at the time. And um, I felt like I, I hadn't been praying my whole life. Um, so I was like, I don't know how to go about this. And it was through Mary that she just kind of really gen gently called me to her son. Sorry, I've answered that question. That's beautiful. <laughs> no, 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 that's beautiful. I think that's for our Protestant friends. They miss out. There's a way to Jesus, a gen gentle, mm. smooth way that is through Our Lady. Yeah. We don't worship her as a goddess. She's a role no. model. Yeah, and exactly. She's leading to Christ, as it's written in the Bible. The scripture, the Protestant love scripture. Yeah. Do what my son is telling you to do. Yeah, exactly. And she's so gentle with it, and mm. she's so patient, and she. You know, I, I feel for people that don't that don't understand it or don't see Mary as like um, a vessel to, to get to Jesus because that's what she does. She like doesn't want any of the glory for herself. She just gently takes you by the hand and presents you her son. And then it's kind of like she steps back and it's that's how you have your relationship. So it was my relationship with Jesus was strengthened through Mary. Um, and funny, there's a there's a quote that actually comes from Medjugorje from one of the, the visions that she when she appeared, mm -hmm. and she said, "If you knew how much I loved you, you'd cry for joy." And in that conversion year, it was the final mass of the youth festival in 2018 of the um, festival, and it was the bit where all the priests kind of come down into the aisle and they pray over you. And at this point, like I'd been, I was out in mass, I'd probably gone to the toilet or something, and then I had to find my way through a crowd of 50,000 people and I managed to find my friends, which that in itself was a miracle. And it was literally, I came back into the mass at the point where the priests were coming down the aisle and I was right in front of a priest and he prayed over me like that. And I remember just getting down on my knees and I tried to say, like not even out loud in my head, I tried to say the words, I'm sorry, Jesus, that I've never prayed to you and had a relationship with you. And I felt like Jesus like pierced my heart and it was like as tiny, tiny as a shard of glass, like tiny, pierced my heart and he, and he just said, I got to the words, I'm sorry my head and he just cut me off and he said if you knew how much I love you you'd cry for joy and it was like this this tiny shadow of glass was so full of love that I I'm not a crier I burst <laughs> <laughs> I am now I think yeah um, stop it I'm German don't understand the song type. well we're English as well exactly <laughs> yeah that's right and now I understand you <laughs> um but yeah, it was so, so overwhelming that it just, I was crying my eyes out. And my best friend next to me, he's like, known me all my life. He was literally like, I've never seen you cry like that before. So mm -hmm. it was so overwhelming, but it was just that pure joy of knowing how loved I am. Mm -hmm. That like, I, like I, to this day, like if I ever have any doubts, which thank praise God I don't, but if I were to, I would just go back to that moment and be like, you cannot deny how this feeling, how much God loves you. If it's if the eye was so overwhelmed, it was a tiny shard mm -hmm. of his love. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we actually knew how much God loves us. It's Somebody like, said this moment, you, you couldn't take it in, I think. As you yeah, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you couldn't. You. You'd explode. <laughs> you actually would. <laughs> in one way or another, yeah. <laughs> you go like, uh, have you been to Amsterdam? <laughs> I've met Jesus. <laughs> That's how it is. We, we have living water. That's what yeah. he calls it, no? Yeah, exactly. What would you tell people who want to experience what, what you received as a gift, as a grace, as we call it. Yeah. What would you tell them ask. if they want to have this relationship? Yeah, I think just ask. I think if you're if you're hearing any of these testimonies, if, if, if you're like starting to go, God, I wish that's happening to me, just ask. Just say to God, if, if you're a non-believer, just say, if you're real, I want to, I want you to show me. Or um, Jesus, if you're real, I want you to take over my life. Or Jesus, if you're real, I want you to come into my like do that it's that Matthew my favorite Bible it's Matthew so, yeah. 7 I think where it's like asking uh, ask the door yeah receive knock, knock on the door be opened it's just that if you just ask God 